One of the greatest things about being a YouTuber, a content creator, a motor vlogger, whatever you want to call us, is uh, the fact that we get to, well, go out there and make videos, give you guys my our opinions, our views, show you guys around our neighborhoods, and just sometimes just be, uh, you know, just vent, I guess. And that's the beauty of what we do. But there are some issues with all this. And uh, we're going to talk about that. For those of you guys who don't know, my name is obviously Mr. K. My wife and I, we uh, basically make videos on this channel and... Uh, it's just a ton of fun. Usually, it's going to be uh, one of us or both of us on the videos. So in the future videos, if you see uh, a beautiful little lady riding around on her Zero, well, that's my wife. So don't worry, you didn't go to the wrong channel. All right. If you guys want to see more of uh, that kind of content, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and turn your notifications on. And that way, you'll never miss uh, any of our videos. Plus, we're trying to get to uh, 3,000 subscribers. And as of the time I'm recording this, we are that tiny bit closer. So you guys are hopefully going to help us out with that. Okay, let's get the intro started. We're going to get into the video today. By the way, for those of you guys who are OGs, you did not just go back in time. I am wearing my Voss helmet. And uh, that's because, well, this is a ridiculously comfortable helmet. But that's not a video, so don't worry about it. You didn't travel back in time. I did put on my Voss helmet again. Of course, there are a few little changes as far as the stickers. Either way, let's get into today's topic, and today's topic obviously being, you know, as a motor vlogger and, again, content creator, whatever you guys want to call us, it's really interesting because we have some limitations. Although it's an amazing amount of fun, excitement, and ridiculous amount of silliness, uh, nevertheless, there are a lot of things that makes it very difficult for you to be a motor vlogger or a content creator in general. Wow, it's amazing how much the sound changes the second I open, up, I open my visor. You guys don't necessarily all realize, unless you are motovloggers, that there is quite a bit of work that goes into being a motovlogger, you know? Uh, just going into the actual editing, the, the whole thing about, you know, recording a video, editing, that kind of stuff. Time. It takes time. It takes a lot of time, in fact. That's not the problem. You see, as content creators, we have to please three key people one ourselves we got to be doing this because we love what we do two we got to please our audience you know we have to make sure that we tailor our videos to hello we tailor our videos to suit you guys too because obviously we create content so that you guys watch it and if we get, we create bad content you guys are not going to watch it but there is a third one and that is of course well, YouTube, you know, we can't just do whatever we want. There are still rules and regulations and, and things that YouTube puts in place stating that, you know, you can't do this or you can't do that or, you know, you're, you're going to get demonetized or you're going to, you know, we're going to get a strike or, you know, stuff like that. So basic examples of uh, stuff like that is obviously the more family friendly you keep the channel, the better YouTube loves you. That's just, you know, the common sense. But when it's all said and done... You know, for a lot of the YouTubers, I talk to them and I'm getting a very interesting feedback from quite a few of them. We don't all have the opportunity to necessarily say what we want to say or talk about some of the stuff we want to talk about. For me, on this channel, I love talking about motorcycles, man. I, I love everything to do with my Ninja 650, Mrs. K0, uh, the Ninja 300s when we had them, and motorcycles in general. I love them. I don't know anything about them, you know, but I love talking about them. I love the feeling of anything and everything that has to do with motorcycles. So on this channel, it's... However, all of our content is family-friendly. We make sure that everything what we do is family-friendly. We don't, you know, we watch our language on this stuff. We watch what we show because... You never know who's watching. And so it is important for us to make sure that we're family friendly. Keep everything as clean as possible and we keep it real for you guys. You know, we try and keep things simple, straightforward, not complicated. But at the same time, we do have, we always have, you know, things that we want to say. And in real life, you know, out off the bikes, are we as nice? Maybe we are, maybe we're not. But the fact of the matter is, it's not necessarily about how nice we are. It's about sometimes how we act in real life one of the things that you'll notice with youtubers when you meet them in real life when you meet them you know face to face and you guys hang out and a lot of you guys know this by meeting you know meeting up with me or uh, just you know when whenever we ran in, into each other 
I am not always the same person, you know, as I am on the bike. On the bike, I'm much more, uh, again, because I'm recording, I'm much more chill. In real life, I, I am a bit of a yappy. I talk a lot. But then again, I talk a lot on this channel. Of course, it would be weird if I didn't, because then you guys would be just doing this, looking at me here. That's it. That, that would be the whole thing. That would be the whole video. Just staring at me. Yeah, that, that's not cool, is it? So you see, we talk a lot, obviously. All the YouTubers talk a lot, but you have to. You know, you're trying to get a point across. That's why you're making a video. But my point is, ultimately, at what? where is that fine line that, you know, where you as a content creator can really express yourself? And you're going to find a lot of YouTubers will typically have multiple channels. A lot of them. <laughs> now, why do you think this is? This has to do with the what they would call their main channel, the second channel, the third channel, whatever. And you'll hear people say, you know, on my main channel. And the reason you'll hear people say on your main channel is because the main channel is the one that YouTubers generally are very cautious with. That's the one that they are much more careful with. And if you guys have been with us long enough, then more than, more than likely you already know we've tried that a few times. Well, you know, let's have a different channel. As a matter of fact, we do have different channels. We have multiple channels ourselves, but nothing necessarily to do with this, uh, you know, with this channel. It has more to do with the fact that, you know, th those are different topics. I have my Summon Tesla channel, you know, that's basically where I just talk about Teslas all the time and or electric vehicles. So it, that has nothing to do with you guys. And so, of course, that would naturally be a just a separate channel. Obviously, we offer some kind of value. We offer you some kind of entertainment or education that's that's the key point that's where a lot of youtubers get their subscribers because we're teaching you something or we're giving you some some uh, form of entertainment or we're giving you some sort of a value for the time that you take to watch our videos and that's beautiful that's the part that i absolutely love now the, the negative side the true negative side about this is well you want to get subscribers obviously if you guys have seen any type of trend dumber people are and the stupider things that they do obviously the higher the subscribe rate and that has to do with the fact that everybody wants to do uh, wants to see other people do stupid things that's just the way it is you know if, if I was out there doing dumb things sure you know Cal couple would be blown up it would be crazy it would be so much more uh, I guess subscribers that would come to the channel so much more views right but when you decide as a content creator that you're not going to do that, you're going to keep everything as family friendly as possible and as clean as possible, well, your channel takes a hit. And unfortunately, that's what it is. That's what happens. That's not necessarily because of the content that you're creating, but rather it's the lack of, well, stupidity. That's really what it is. And you you don't have to take my word for it. You guys can go on YouTube and look at some of the crazy channels that are out there that are absolutely massive, that have nothing to do with anything normal, anything good. It has everything to do with how how much stupid things people can do. Ourselves, Cow Couple, has always been the calm part. You know, we've always been the more laid back stuff and this is how this channel is gonna stay we like the laid back things we like the more real things the more down to earth things as people say and i'm okay with that i love that many of you may leave these comments of how are you guys not bigger than you are uh, well that's really up to you that's you are the viewer you're the one that decides whether you are deciding to subscribe to the channel uh, you're the one that decides whether you're not you want to share the channel with your friends and you know bring them along for the ride as well so it's really, that's up to you guys. We are doing our part. We make the videos, we tag them, you know, we go through the process of making, going through the whole process ourselves. But ultimately it does come down to just you guys, you as, as the subscribers, as the viewers, as the audience. It, it's really up to you to get the word of mouth out there and say, hey guys, check out this and that or whatever. And I'm not talking about just us guys. I'm not talking about Cow Couple. I'm talking about any channel you like it is really up to you as the audience to kind of expand on that and tell people, hey, listen, there's this channel that you might want to see. Being a content creator is awesome. I love it. I wouldn't trade it up for anything. In fact, that's why I have other channels. But you, you guys, all of you who are the audience, it is really up to you to help out your favorite content creators by sharing this stuff with your friends. Don't, 
as I always is, you know, I make this joke with some of my friends. Stop being selfish, man. Just tell your friend about us. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's really how to get your favorite YouTubers or favorite content creators to grow. It's really up to you to suggest it, to, to help them along by telling other people about them. Okay, well, anyway, that's it for my video today. It's a little bit longer than I, <laughs> I would have liked it, but that's what it is. So do me a favor and uh, hit the subscribe button, man. Uh, hit that notification bell and turn on your notifications. That way you're never going to miss a video that way. You, you can't go wrong. All right, that's it. I'm done. Bye. You know, what do you know? I'm on a freaking gas pump. Oh, man. I actually have to put gas in this bike. Thank you.